I'm rolling hands. Mo, look out, man. You know? Look out. And so if I'm if I'm doing all my jawing hands, like everything is in here in such a way that there's no way in the world that he feels an opening on the center line, you know. But the minute I give him an opening on the center line, it feels different. Now. And so even he could be way out here, and I'm like this, and he comes in to try to do a dim germ, and then I jut from way out here. So these are like open hands in Chisa. This would be open hands, you know. Like he's Chisa. I'm letting to see that do what he does he wants. I even fold my hands, and he comes and does something, and I jut. Or he's like, you know, my hands are way out here. I'm moving, moving around with him, making him do stuff. And then he's gonna come in, and I jut like even there, you know. He might try to punch even from there, and you know, something like that, you know. That's open hands, you know, but if I don't want open hands, I keep it tight. There's none of that goes on. Like everything's in tight right away. You know, I'm not thinking about giving him a chance, like leaving it open. Like, oh, it's open, see? Now he might decide he's open, so he might try to take one. But now, do you feel open? The take one is different. So when you do guard hands in Chi Sao, it's different. Like guard hands are different, and open hands are different. You open the center line up, you even let techniques fall a little bit because you're trying to sucker the person in a little bit. And then you practice reactions, mm -hmm. reflexes. You know, you're studying the distance and the energy. Like, how, how does it feel? Like, if your hand's here, and he launches off a quick dim germ, do you have enough sensitivity to really catch it? You see what I'm saying? So that's different. The open hands, you know, open energies.